Right, so good morning. It's been my first attempt to try on this after watching um, Sam Simons' successful efforts at making a, a YouTube video last night. We sat and watched him uh, with his new trailer and, and his baler fires, which was massively entertaining. Um, so yeah, no, this morning we're, uh, we're out with the slurry tanker. I'll uh, go for a walk around and have a look. So we've got the front 8 to 8 on the front of a Connor 3,500 gallon tanker. Uh, Eight inch loading arm, very handy. Side gauge just for, I don't know, looks good. Um, using the 12 meter dribble bar, applicating the slurry down, down at the roots of the grass. Well, not necessarily the roots, but at the, the base of the plant. So the slurry gets to, gets to where it needs to be quicker. Uh, all plumbed up to the back gate there. We've got a rain gun, but never use it because uh, well, technically we're not allowed, so just, that's irrelevant. Some trusty old string, because you can never, no fire machinery is perfect without some string on it. Um, and yeah, this is this is what we'll be spreading today. A little bit of this on some uh, some silage ground we'd done the other day. Sam, Sam loves his tyres, so we'll have a look. What have we got here? What have we got? Where are the numbers? Here we are, 710, Sam, 710s. What have we got on this one? Because 710s, 710s all round at the minute. Oh, this is an important bit. We've got the turbo. So we've got the 8-inch loading arm. Comes in along here, through the turbo, which accelerates it into the tank. Saves a little bit on your on your loading up time. Come back to this side to check some more tyres, because I know Sam loves it. 710s. Yeah, 710s. 710s all round, so happy days. Spare over in case you ever need it. You never know. Now back inside, we'll, uh, we'll fire the old girl up and get a load on. We're pretty sure we with the fence. One click, two click, PTO's engaged. Then we come up to our control panel. Obviously the loading arm's already down. When the loading arm's down, it puts itself into vacuum mode. So we'll, uh, we'll open the loading arm gate, which is just this one down. It's a bit dirty, isn't it? Allow it to uh, start loading. And get it get that get the loading arm nice and full before I start the next step which I'd probably be yeah the the, the 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 gauge down there at the bottom just down here can't see it through the dirty window it's starting to starting to go up so we'll engage the turbo fill and then uh, and then we wait the loading, I'll show you a little thing that I quite like to do whilst Obviously not when we're on the road, but it was we, we cracked this puppy open. Oh, what was I watching last? Griselda. Jessica. Magic numbers. Doesn't really matter. Relevant. We'll just we'll pop Netflix on while we sit here and uh, and we wait. Wait for the uh, the tank to fill up. So as you can see, the gauge is uh, slowly filling. We're oh, we've gone out of focus there, but the gauge is about here now, so we're nearly. We're nearly full, ready to go out to the field and try and not make a mess. This is some important parts. Right, so we finished loading. I've turned the turbo off. We'll close this gate. Sometimes we get a bit of a splat. Not this morning. Then we, uh, we lift the loading arm. When you lift the loading arm, it, it will change itself over into, into blow. Right, loading arm lifted. We're ready to go for a bit of a drive. into the field uh, this is where we're spreading today we've cut it for silage a couple of weeks ago so uh, what we'll do is while we're here this one here fire that one down crack the dribble bar open sometimes you've got safety chains um, on the dribble bar which will adjust your height as to how you want it to run on the field I like running it as close to the ground as physically possible um, Obviously, you're still going to get some slurry on the leaf. Is what it is. You can't really odds that. 
but sometimes when you unfold it, they catch, which can be a bit of a nuisance. Um, pressurized outsets, it's at its full width, and uh, then we're ready for the next step. So, because we're extra sassy, as you can see, I've already done a load out here. So, what we'll do is we'll uh, fire this one up here, auto steers engage, gave us some lines. What I will do, because I'm extra, extra classy, is I'll. Uh, I'll fire down this line and we'll go we'll go we'll go to about there and then we'll spin around and finish that run off. Here we go. You, can't, you can kind of roughly see where I'd been. Um, there's a slight difference in colour where the wheels have put some pressure on the ground. And so we're coming into work mode here. Getting close to a mark. So we'll uh, we'll fire the PTO up. Which we're already in in blow mode. Some people probably got a different name for it. We'll, uh, we'll open the rear gate and then we'll turn on the macerators. The macerators just spread it equally along the length of the whole bar. There's two sets of macerators on, you've got one this end, got one that end. And uh, away we go, slurry's applicating. We'll have to do a bit of a manoeuvre here. Manoeuvre successful. So we're back, we're on the auto steer, colouring in nicely. Applicating it, what should be 4K, but this, the radar is reading 3.7. So I don't know which one to believe, radar or the track now. But we're not that fussy. As you can see, I've got some debris from where I, I forage wagon these fields. Uh, but we were taking it away, quite quite a distance away. And well, as you can see, these two were obviously the last runs, and I didn't want to come back for two runs, so I forced it in the wagon and. Um, Obviously I've spilled a bit, but it's not the end of the world. Organic matter, the worms will love that. Reaching the end end of the, the tank four, as you can see the sight gauge here is, is reading empty. So what all I'm doing now is I'm listening listening for a, a, a tone change in this pump. Fucking thing. That's far too noisy. But the, the, this this pump will change in its tone and you'll also notice the, the pressure will drop down to zero. It will drop to zero, but the, you'll still notice slurry is coming out because the macerators are still distributing whatever's left in the line. So you kind of, you just kind of got to get your wits about you towards the end. Otherwise you might find you're just, you're putting the wrong application rate on because the, the macerators are deceiving you. You can see it all applicating. We're leaving lovely, lovely lines of slurry. Here we go, picture changing. Pressure gauge is starting to drop. Down it goes, close to zero. Well, for this example, it actually stopped doing what it normally does. So that's a uh, first load done. Let's cover up. So this is one of our macerators. Of course, you said we've got two. Inside here is is like two two rotors that will spin and chop, say, the straw, grass, whatever's in, in the lagoon, and then distribute it evenly down every single pipe here. This down here is a stone catcher. There's a, it's fairly chunky fairly full of gravel so that the idea of that is it doesn't block the pipes the, the heavier product will go down into this pipe and it will sit there Event every so often I'm supposed to empty that but I'm not going to do that today because it's Monday and I don't want to get shitty boots this is what we've done put the slurry on the idea is probably just to get the slurry right down at the bottom and not leave so much on the leaf we've obviously left a bit on that one but it seems fairly clean consistent a lot of the time when you use a dribble bar you could probably put your cows on this within a week so oh here we go spot a problem looks like i've got a blocked pipe so the idea of that gravel thing there is uh it's caused me well i wouldn't say so much look we've obviously got slurry there it's just not come out at the same rate as the rest of them maybe i maybe i will need to take the mass rate apart and have a look at that similar here similar here they get covered in shit so uh thanks for getting this far if you even did and if you enjoyed it give it a like and a follow and just do me a favor go on sam symes youtube and just comment saying that my youtube's better cheers <laughs>